1995, Mitch Albom uh, watched an interview that changed his life. It was Ted Koppel's interview with Morris, Maury Schwartz, who happened to be uh, Albom's favorite college professor. He had been diagnosed with ALS and was uh, spending his remaining months talking with others about what it meant to be dying. Albom had lost touch with his professor. So he reached out to visit him. One visit turned into another and another, and those conversations turned into the international bestseller, Tuesdays with Maury. The book turns 25 this year. Wow. Unbelievable. And Mitch Album joins us live. Mitch, thanks for being with us. Pleasure. Thank you. So, okay, the journey, I can't believe this book is 25 years old. I'm sure you can't either, but uh, I'm, I'm curious in this, you have a new afterword to the book, and what will people find in that that they didn't get if they've read it a million times? So a lot of people don't realize that Tuesday with Maury almost never happened. I wrote the book just to pay Maury's medical bills, and I was a sports writer at the time, and no publishers were interested in publishing Tuesdays with Maury. We got told no almost everywhere. So in this additional chapter that I added, I, I include the letter that I wrote that went out to all these publishers telling them why I thought this story of an old man who was dying, talking to a young man who was kind of confused in his life, was an important book. And uh, people will get to see this letter that got turned down by, by so many people uh, before him. It kind of explains what I was thinking before I ever wrote a single page of the book. Yeah, I'm not sure early on critics loved it, but people loved it. And it, it seems like one of those books that everybody read 25 years ago. Uh, for that generation that, that hasn't gotten to it yet, what was the lesson from your mentor about, uh, about life? Well, there was a series of them. I visited with him every Tuesday for all the Tuesdays that he had left in his life over the course of about five months or so. And each week we took on sort of one topic and saw it through the lens of, well, when you really know you're going to die, does this matter? Uh, marriage, family, forgiveness, money, career, culture. And so uh, different people find kind of their favorite lesson in it. But the value of it is that we don't have to wait until the end of our lives yeah. to put these things into perspective. We can learn them now and, and take advantage of them when we're young enough and healthy enough to do something about it. It also affected your life profoundly, I'm sure. I mean, I, you were mostly a sports writer before, but now you say instead of people coming up to you and asking you about a sport, they'll, they'll really open up to you about very private things, won't they? That's right. They'll tell me about someone in their life who died or their Maury or their mother died of cancer and the last thing they did together was read Tuesdays with Maury. And when you hear that, many, many times a day, many days, weeks, months, and years, it changes you. It should change you. And you become more sensitive to that. And my world became much more about that. I never wrote another sports book after that, but I've written many other books that have had to do with the themes that were with Tuesdays with Maury. And the lesson that he taught me about giving is living, which was for me the most profound thing that he got more out of his life when he was giving to people, even as he was dying, if he could help somebody else, it made him feel more alive. And that became very important in my life. I became much more involved with charitable endeavors. I run things here in Detroit and I have an orphanage that I operate in Haiti. And none of that would have happened if not for his lesson to me about giving his living. And where did his wisdom come from? Was it uh, just this realization upon his deathbed, or was it his, his uh, study of sociology and, and the study of, of societies? He was always like that. He was always pretty insightful. He was always countercultural. He didn't spend a lot of time watching television. He was much more of a talker. And, and, and that's probably why I took to him in college so much as a college kid and an impressionable young kid. But then when ALS struck, which is a, a terrible disease, and, 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 and yet it does give you the opportunity over time to sort of get things together. It's not an instant death. And he used that time to kind of take everything that he had learned in his life and the way that he had been and put it into perspective at the end. So I think he already had the underpinnings of it, but I think the disease and the profile that the disease gave him, gave him an opportunity to teach many more people. And I always say, you know, isn't it funny, Maury Schwartz never read a word of Tuesdays with Maury because I, I didn't start writing it obviously until after he passed away. Wow. And yet now, He's still teaching all these huh. years later. Isn't that something? Wow. And I love how you, you say that people used to go visit him and, and want him to talk, but they ended up talking more themselves because he became this incredible listener. Or was he always like that? He was always a great listener. Yeah. But as I say, he felt more 
alive helping them and i would wow. say to him but you're the one who's dying why don't you take the sympathy and he said mitch why would i take like that taking makes me feel like i'm dying giving makes me feel like i'm living still a great book and it's just a, a pleasure to talk to you mitch you can get more at mitchalbum.com or follow him on social media you can also find his podcast we tuesday people is that a podcast where you just talk about tuesdays with maury or is that a little bit of everything mitch well, it's, it's based on, on different lessons that uh, Maury shared with me, and we play the original tapes. I have tapes oh, from every oh, one wow. of our meetings. Huh. So you get to actually hear his voice, and then we use that as a bouncing off point about issues for today. That's, That's great. awesome. Thanks again, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. Pleasure. Thank you. Time to